Hey guys, welcome back. And so today's episode, uh, as you can see, I still have my broken hand. I believe this bad boy is coming off on Thursday. And uh, I was tasked today to migrate a bunch of information, a bunch of files and folders to um, another location. Now, as a techie person, most likely you're going to do a robocopy or X copy or copy command and run a batch script and just double click on it and just walk away and let it do its thing, keep logs. But because of my hand, I didn't feel like typing, I didn't feel like coding anything and sometimes the robocopy kind of fails and sometimes it doesn't and it doesn't really work. So uh, I did some research and I found Robo Mirror. Robo Mirror uh, got good uh, feedback from uh, other people that have used it. Uh, I'm actually going to post this link at the very bottom so you guys can check it out. Um, so far, it's, it's fairly new. Uh, as you can see, it's already 226 downloads so far. Really easy. It's, a, it's really small. I think it's about 326 kilobytes. But the whole point of this, it, it works just like the Robocopy command. But it's one thing I like about this. It does volume shadow copies. So I'm going to add a task. Uh, I'm gonna browse to the location and let's go I'm gonna do evolution full press ok and I don't know I wanna drop it to uh, block picks whatever now one of the things that I found interesting was a use a use it use a volume shadow copy okay so this is pretty cool if you're dealing with um, VSS within your server 2003 uh, if or 2008 um, also, if you have a file share and you enable the uh, VSS, which is always best practices to have that because you never know when someone deletes something rather than going backups, you could just go to previous versions and bingo. Um, I, I kind of like this portion there, so that was pretty cool. Uh, it gives you the excluded items that you could put. That was pretty cool. You know, it makes it real simple. I don't really need to type all this stuff up and save it. Um, one thing I like about it is the, the attributes. You got none, you got ACLs only or all, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna hit all. Uh, delete extra files and folders. I won't do that. Press OK. Now you get two options with the Robo Mirror. You can actually back up or restore, which is pretty cool. Um, you can actually schedule it. And it gives you a history of what's done so far. So that's pretty neat. Um, I'm gonna do a let's back up. And it basically gives you a rundown. Like you would see it on the command prompt, which is pretty cool. Uh, total 80, 79, skip one. Uh, so that means that something's gonna be skipped. Uh, these are many files and this is how much gigs is gonna be. You proceed and it's doing its little thing. As you can see at the very bottom, I got a nice little preview, but the only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't give you a a panel of what's being copied over so that's the only thing that the that this thing lacks I think um, so I think I evolution and blog so as you can see stuff is being copied over but again I don't have like a status of when it's completed so that's the only thing I don't like about this at all but it is a great tool uh, I'm wondering what kind of tools you guys use to copy stuff over do you go through the old school the old school style and basically uh, create a batch script, uh, back, batch script, sorry guys, and uh, do a robocopy command and do it that way or do you use tools like I used or I found? Uh, I would like to get some feedback from you guys, you know. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this episode and uh, catch you guys later. Bye bye.